Note that in case you're going to simulate this case in three-dimensional, that is also easy. So I copied the, I duplicated the same uh, fluid flow analysis into a new one, and then I open the ANSYS design modeler to demonstrate this. So here we have the same uh, computational domain that we created. Now we're going to make it instead of two-dimensional, three-dimensional. So I select this face and then I, so let's also select the XY plane and then I would rather hide the sketches so I don't have any sketches here so I selected the XY plane now I select this face and then click on revolve so the geometry is selected and then for the axis I select the XY axis yes and then I Click on apply and then change the operation to uh, add frozen and then generate. Then we have the three dimensional geometry created for the <coughs> domain containing the duct. So we zoom out, then the duct is the hollow region inside this. A circular cylinder. Now we have to also do it for the for the other parts of the domain. So I go with this face. I do it one by one so that still they they are uh, separate uh, volumes. So that later also in the grid generation, uh, still in the region in this region outside the uh, region where the grid is located fully structured grid can be generated. So I select this phase and go to revolve for the x-axis again the, uh, for the axis of rotation we again select the x-axis and then we click on generate. Okay now we also have this volume we go to the next one also this volume and then I click on revolve the same axis. Remember to change it to at frozen and then done. So if we check back for the first one we had at frozen but for the second one we had at material. So we also update this to at frozen then generate again so now this is correct now we do this also for the other uh, first for this face go revolve the axis is there and then the operation set is at frozen okay so this is also done correctly now this face revolve and uh, it's frozen okay this is also done and then the last phase the last phase okay also this one not frozen and then generate Okay, now we created the three-dimensional domain for this case. Now remember that if we go back here, now we don't need the surfaces anymore. Now we can suppress the surfaces. We can select all the volumes, make sure they are fluid, and make sure the shared topology is automatic for all of them, so that the grid goes conformal later. Okay, so this is also correctly set. Now we also need to update the boundary conditions. Boundary condition used to be a line. Now we have to delete this one. Instead we have to select this face and this face and then this will be the inlet.
and now this will be the symmetry so we have to delete this symmetry condition which was only a line and select these faces and then define it as symmetry and we no longer have the axis the outlet, we delete the outlet, then we rotate the domain, add this to our outlet of the domain. This is also set correctly. Fluid. Now all the, we have to select all the volumes. So we have selected all of them. Then we go here, right click, and then we name them as fluid, so it's the interior domain. Okay, so this is also set correctly. Now I hide all this bodies, now we only have the middle one, so what, we, what is left is the duct wall. That this one is also this one also needs to be defined so how should we do that so let's select this face and hide it also this face we can hide and this one okay so now what is remaining there it's the Uh, it's the duct so we rotate the bit so we have one two. we can also select the faces using the box select tool just to make sure everything is selected and then we select name selection in total eight faces and then for the name we say duct wall then we click on generate so this makes makes sure that the walls of the uh, of the dock are all selected okay we rotate the domain to the original position and then I move it a bit to see the dock so now we can see that we have already created the three-dimensional <coughs> Uh, dot. So this was also the tutorial on how to create the three-dimensional conversion diversion duct. So now we save the project again. And we can close the design modeler.